Hey, I wanted to follow up on your question from office hours, uh, which is basically aggregating a, a cart or, you know, a sales cart for a given product. So let's just quickly look at uh, this oversimplified version uh, just for review for other people. Uh, we're going to focus on these three tables. So we have company, we have company A and B, we have products. Looks like we have five products. Each product belongs to a company. And then we have this sales table, right? And in the sales table, we have this object array, which what we really care about is the product ID and the amount of uh, each product in that cart, okay? So what we wanted to do is we wanted to go ahead and for a given company, uh, be able to tell the uh, total of what's in all of the carts for the products that belong to that company, right? So let's go ahead and just quickly, I have here in reference by, I have this endpoint setup that we started working on uh, in office hours. I stripped it down a little bit because I wanted to show you uh, the solution um, that we actually figured out. So first we just input this company ID. We look up the products table uh, to get the products that belong to a certain company. So obviously if I ran this for company one, we can see we get two products back, right? So the next thing we wanted to do is using an add-on, we wanted to do that aggregation of those carts, but we ran into a speed bump, if you remember, right? We went to create new add-on, we added on that sales table, went to aggregation, and then what was tricky here is we need to actually map that on the product's ID, but you can see that that's not actually showing up. So I'm just going to uh, hit next, create add-on, hit done. This won't actually do anything for us because what we will need to do is we'll need to go actually to this add-on page because that gives us full control over that add-on query. And we'll need to do some things that aren't available in that easy setup wizard, okay? So I'm gonna go here and this is my latest one. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna delete that sales ID. So we need to um, look up based on this products ID. Okay, so we're gonna use that, but first in the query to be able to access that products ID, and let me just delete this where statement for confusion. First thing we need to do is actually bind that object array, that cart, right? And I don't need to add a conditional here because it's part of the table. Um, and that will just give us access to those fields nested in that object array, right? And so we did this even in office hours. You can see now here's um, the sales table, but then all of a sudden I've made this virtual table where I can actually select that product's ID and set that equal to my input, which is product's ID, right? Okay, great. So now that I have that, the tricky part is in this aggregation, right? If we go to group by, well, we see uh, that product ID and that amount aren't in here. Uh, what I need to first do is actually go to evals to be able to add those fields to my response since they're coming from that join. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and you see when I hit this drop down here, we have products ID, so we just need to give it a name. So I'll call this products ID. And then I can add another eval right here with that plus button and I can do the amount. And we'll just go ahead and say, we'll call that amount. And I can hit save, right? So those uh, are now all of a sudden available to me in this aggregation engine. So when I just open this, we can say we can group by, there's my products ID, name it as products ID. And then we can aggregate by the amount. And maybe um, I'll call this uh, sum or total or something and the aggregator I'll choose here will be the sum. So I can go ahead and save that. Great. Okay, so now we have, and let me just uh, name this. So we can add this back to our query, but I'll just go back to my API here. And now here in the output, uh, if I go ahead and grab that add-on I just created, you can see products ID is now equal to products ID. Okay, so this is starting to look a little bit better. So let's go ahead and run this for company one. So now company one, you can see we get, okay, here's my add-on for sales. We have product ID two, which matches up there. We have the sum of all the carts is going to be 175. And then for um, product ID one, we have 240. And now if I go ahead and run this for two, we should have three products, which should be three, four, and five, and we're starting to see uh, those sums show up correctly. So uh, once again, just in review, we just need to make sure to um, go into 
the actual add-on page where we have full control over that query. We first need to just bind that object array so we have access to those fields. And then to actually use the fields in that object array in the aggregation engine, we first need to just create uh, the evals.